Hi, my name's Michael Weldon. I'm a Coles ambassador, and I'm joined today by two of the Melbourne Storm boys. My name's Felice Kafusi, and, and my name's Remus Smith. And we're here to cook a recipe for you. The first recipe from the Deadly Choices Melbourne Storm Coles Good Quick Tucker recipes that are going to be coming out every month that you guys can cook along with. And the first one we're going to make today is some burritos, boys. Which So we're going to do a, a bean burrito. We're going to keep it meat free, nice and healthy. So I'm going to put you guys to work, do some chopping. So to start with, Felice, do you want to chop the onion, just rough dice, sort of that sort of size? Yeah, okay. Um, without cutting your fingers off, because the season starts soon, so I don't want to be the reason you guys are injured. And then Remus, do you want to dice up those tomatoes? Yeah, yeah. Not, not too small. Not too small. All right. Yeah. Now, with a sharp knife, it's always important to be really careful when you're chopping. Fingers out of the way, slow and steady wins the race when it comes to chopping. All of our, um, our good quick tucker recipes are, are going to be quick and easy, always tasty and always healthy. And they're also good to cook with uh, with your family. So these are recipes you can get the kids involved in as well. You could do things like grating the onion rather than using a knife. You want to get the kids started off. And then with the garlic, we're just going to really thinly slice it, just nice thin slices. I reckon if we do maybe three of those tomatoes. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to get my pan on, nice and hot here. Fingers out the way. Fingers out the way. That's. That's a key. Get on. Otherwise, Bellamy's going to give me cold something else, right? <laughs> Can't have that. And then we're going to go in with a little bit of oil into our pan, and just a little bit. Nice. And we're going to go in with the onion. So I'll come over to you, Felicia. Do you want to just slide your onion into there? She will pick up the board, slide it all in, and chuck the garlic in as well. And you want to hear that little sizzle straight away. Beautiful. And start this on sort of a medium high heat. A little bit of salt there, too, just to help those onions fry and color up. Now, next we're gonna do the corn. I've got a trick for the corn. I'm gonna show you a little tip. Grab a plate. You, on your corn kernel, and you, you can use tin corn as well, or even frozen corn, but we've got some beautiful fresh corn here, which is great. Just take the base off, like so, and then you've got a little base to hold your corn on your plate, and then you just go straight down your corn, and you see your plate catches right. most of it. Nice. So that's a really quick and easy way to uh, to get the cobs or the kernels off your cob of corn. So I'll do one, you do the other. Done. Beautiful. And I'll just give this a little stir. So we want to cook our onions till they're nice and soft and uh, so we're going to go a bit of a higher heat. All right, now you can see our onions just taking on a little bit of colour, which is really good. How long to dice your... It's a really nice dice on those tomatoes. Three, <laughs> tomatoes so are dice. Once we've got a little bit of colour on our onions, we can uh, we can start adding in our, our next ingredients. So we're going to go on the corn. Now, Felice, do you want to chop that um, that capsicum as well? Do you want to? I'll give you. Do you want a capsicum tip too? I've got a capsicum tip as well. Yes, Another one. Take the uh, take the top off. Hold it flat again, and then just run your knife down the side so you get like four pieces and then you can dice that up a bit easier. That's how you don't get the seeds in. Exactly right. And you, you don't want the seeds or the um, the membrane or the ribs that hold the seeds in. That, they're just a little bit bitter and um, just doesn't, yeah, it's not a nice flavour, so we get rid of that. Now, you can see here we've got a bit of colour on our, our corn and our onion, just a, just a little bit of caramelisation, which is good. So we won't go in with that capsicum when it's ready. There, Felice, and we'll, we'll chuck Two in seconds the, uh, away there. The chef? tomato as well. Yes, chef. Now I've got some. Yes, I like no, 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 no <laughs> chef for me. I'm just a cook. <laughs> now, tin of black beans. That's going to be the the, the main yeah. bulk of our uh, our burrito today. And I've just got a packet of um of like a seasoning Mexican seasoning mix. You can do it for tacos or burritos. So, going to add that in as well, and that's going to give us our flavour. You could also, you know, add some of your own spice if you want to, but I, I like the ease of just a packet. Nice. Chuck the... Uh, this is in. Yep, the capsicum in. And then with your little spice mix, you just want to just roughly toast it through your pan. So just sort of stir it through and make sure it coats all of those diced veggies. Now, give a little a mix through. And we can add those, um, that diced tomato in. I'll come over and meet you halfway there, Remus. And a bit of that juice as well. That juice will help um, just make it a little bit saucy, which is what we want. Now, the last thing we need to do before we, uh, well, the last bit of veggie prep we need to do is our avocado, which is gonna add a really nice creamy fatty layer. Like one of my favorite vegetables, avocado. So I'll show you another tip. This is a good one to have because you boys hands are very important. You don't wanna cut yourself. So um, when you're gonna cut your avocado, knife in the middle and then roll your avocado around your board and keep your knife touching the stone the whole way. 
Therefore, it's touching the stone, it's not touching your hand. So it's a good thing. Little twist to open it up. Beautiful, fresh avocado. And then very carefully with the helium knife, in and twist. And then pop your seed off. Seed goes into the recycling. And then you've got your avocado. And then you're going to scoop it out of the spoon into your bowl. And we're going to mash that up to make a little bit of a guacamole type thing to mix nice. into our burrito. So do you want to do that there? Yeah. Now, we're looking pretty good here. We just want to cook this down now till everything slightly softens. And a good sign, especially if you're using fresh tomatoes, is when they start to break down and, and they just sort of, they're just holding onto their skin. So we're not actually that far away. Nice. Yeah. Now, on, man. we've got to talk about these aprons you're wearing, boys. How good do they look? Nice, Daily Choices. I know, Daily Coles, Choices, Melbourne Storm, Melbourne Coles. Storm. It's got all the good stuff on there, right? Fancy. I know. <laughs> our, our friends at home are watching this video today. They can get these aprons if they uh, if they cook along and, and send their videos or their their photos into the recipes they cook up um, as part of our prize draw each month. So very exciting. Get the, sh the shirts look amazing as well. Much better on you boys with those muscles, but uh, <laughs> you're looking very good in those too. So we're about a minute away here. We might just let this Sick. cook down. Remus has done the avocado. Yeah, we're there. we're looking pretty good. Hey? Dinner's not far away. <laughs> now it's time to pretty much wrap our burritos up. We're gonna add some lemon in here. So please, you wanna squeeze some lemon in there. And then I'll show you boys how, to, how I roll a burrito and you can each make one. What do you reckon? Done. Yeah, let's do it. Now, this is the hardest bit. If you don't roll it right, it goes everywhere. <laughs> and I'm, I'm okay at it, I'm not amazing, but we'll, uh, we'll get it done. I've also got just some, some fresh lettuce leaves. You could use an iceberg lettuce or the, you know, the multi um, leaf lettuce. And then just a little bit of cheese, just to... Cheese is oh, great, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I start with a bit of the, uh, bit of the avo on the bottom. Oh, yeah, the guacamole, guacamole, no, it's fine. It's good because you want a bit of texture. Yeah. Um, you don't want it to be, to, to be too mushy. And then top it with a little bit of our bean mix. You want to kind of stick to the centre of your burrito wrap because when you start folding, if you're too far around the edges, you end up sort of not being able to fit it all in. And then I like to add the cheese here at this stage onto the warm burrito mix so it melts a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Use the heat to just melt it. And then just some lettuce, just to add some freshness. And again, if you had a cabbage in the crisper of your fridge, like cabbage would work really well at this stage as well. Anything fresh and leafy would work really well. And then this is the wrapping technique. So you go over and fully cover it and then you can kind of tuck it back a bit. Nice. And then fold in your two sides. And then this is the, the trick is to just ah. ro roll it up and wrap it. And there, that's how you get your burrito. So, you and then you, the best thing about a burrito is it's all wrapped up and you can just eat it and it's pretty yeah. easy. So, you boys ready to roll a couple of burritos? Give it a go. Yeah. I'll bring the mix over here. Yeah. And again, this is, the great thing about burritos at home is you can make, you know, your veggie Not mix, mix have some um, avo, and you can make as like whatever sort of mix you want. So if you love extra avocado, you can add extra avocado. This is where it's good for kids <laughs> to you know add whatever veggies they like, yeah. um, and a good way of getting you know veggies into kids' diets, um, and especially if you make it look colourful. I think that's a key. Yeah, a bit of colour. You know, we like a bit of colour too, right? Kids and big kids. We all we all like a little bit of colour in our food. Yeah. Big boy, need a yeah, big serve. Exactly right. This is have which, you ready for a which game will day. be a challenge, <laughs> but one I'm trying to. Oh, it's gonna be fun to roll it. I think you get it done though. <laughs> All right. So it's great. It's a bit of cheese. Yeah. You might have a couple of bread before it. For, for yeah. Game, this is a nice snack. This is yeah, a nice this starter. Is, this is little morning tea. Oh, right. some yeah. Cheese. Uh, yeah. cheese. Uh, cheese. Are you gonna yeah. die or? Huh? No cheese. Bit of no lettuce. Cheese. Chuck a bit of fresh lettuce. Yeah. Just choose your own adventure. See, That's what I like about it. Now this is over. Right. Police, I'm excited, man. Is, yeah, over. <laughs> over. Sort of tuck it, it under. Tuck it under. Yeah, exactly right. Oh, now, once you learn to do these wrap, you can make spring rolls as well. You can do oh, a, lot of, a lot of things you roll in a parcel. Look at that. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. That is. That's awesome. It's it's first time. I've been practicing. You know, just to get my one right. <laughs> it. It's not bad. Oh, oh Remus has smashed it as well. <laughs> Look at this. Tell you what, the Storm Boys. Deep and dream. And a burrito. How good is that? And have a look at those burritos. Quick, easy, healthy, and affordable. I mean, what more do you want? The first of our Deadly Choices recipes. And when you do cook these recipes at home, make sure you tag us in it to go into the draw to win a monthly prize. Melbourne Storm Jesus, come and see these boys play. Some Coles vouchers, a MasterChef kit, and one of these beautiful Deadly Choice aprons. And you can go into the draw for the major prize, which is to come along on Indigenous Round 
see the Storm Boys and do a live cooking session or come to the Coles head office and see us for a cooking masterclass. There you go. Good. And boys, you got the shirts? Yeah, so to pick up one of these Deli Choices shirts, you gotta get a health check at bars. How good.